Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. Okay, Sheldon, for this one, we're headed down to West Provo into Westbridge, which is a planned urban development. And this is a really nice location. There's lots of development that's going on in this area. And take a look at this. We got a twin home that backs to open space right now. The city owns this and the plan is, is potentially to do a park back there. They haven't quite decided there's a park off to the far right hand side and there's really no access to it. They're just sort of thinking a park is the best way to move forward. That's great. What a luxury to have. I know. So you've got this really nice town home and Forbes just came out that this is our economic indicators are saying this is going to be the next boom and so appreciation is supposed to be a massive amount of appreciation Forbes is saying this is the best place for economic outlook to move in the whole country yep and so Provo, you get in this nice house, nice plan. To, it's got a pool. It's got all this stuff uh, and a great location and are really expecting some really good things for this location. But obviously, when we get into these properties, let's talk about. So uh, we're looking at three bedrooms and uh, two and a half baths uh, right there in Provo. It's got, of course, your two car garage. And let's talk about, obviously, when we get into these, the big thing is financing, right? Absolutely. And this, the price of this property is so affordable that many times we talk about these no money down programs, first time home buyers, and they're actually not limited to first time home buyers. So we have a lot of people call about these properties and say, we don't have money to put down. We, it's taking us too long to save up as we're renting but we see that house appreciation is going up too fast. We're not saving up faster than the market's going up. We get them into these properties with no money down. We get those types of calls, but also we get calls about investment properties. And we have a new product, 15% down, that has no mortgage insurance. And that's been a big draw and feature that people are liking. Most people think, oh, I need 20% down to have no mortgage insurance or 25% to get the best rate. And this 15% product has been killing it right now. That's, that's so good though. It's only 15% down and you don't have to pay that mortgage insurance with only 15%, which is great. So you get a nice property like this, you come in and buy it, you rent it out or you move into it and, and you watch that appreciation that we're going to be expecting in Provo in one of the hottest areas. You see that freeway was just blowing up. Yeah, location's there, great. The location is magical and this really nice PUD, you get a really beautiful property and they expect it to be a lot of appreciation. And you get a good loan. Yeah, great, great property, great financing, good location. And what we're finding with these properties, we're expecting a lot of appreciation because the builders, if you go to rebuild this property, it's going to be significantly more money because the cost of construction and labor and all that kind of stuff is way more than what the existing homes is. That means you've got a natural base for appreciation. That's your, you can you just jump in on these instead of sitting around waiting to save your down payment, you can get one of these cool programs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, the property's there, it's existing. You can lock in your rate, buy the home, know what your loan's going to be. Yeah, and it's so nice. And you got this nice little planter. It obviously looked better if it were summer right now, looking at the pool, but I mean, it's always a great time to buy in this location. Okay, Ashley, looks like you're, you're taking us up to Cottonwood Heights, right? One of the best locations in all of Salt Lake. Yeah, so this is a very coveted location right at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon. Yeah, and so you're right there by all the ski resorts, but there's some great shopping and up on the east side and the restaurants are just dynamite. They are, and this would make a great primary residence or a second home, like if you lived out of state and wanted a ski vacation home. Yeah, and it's perfect. And as we're stepping inside, look at all the beautiful windows they put in here and such natural light, I love it. Yeah, so David Weekly Homes is known for their big windows, lots of light, taller ceilings. So this is 10 foot ceilings on the main floor, which makes it feel so much more open and bright. Yeah, and you can tell by the size of the actual uh, things inside, you can see how just tall and, and beautiful it is. Very nice work. Head into the kitchen. They did a really good job here. Yeah, so beautiful upgraded kitchen. You've got the nice cabinets with the soft clothes feature. 
the quartz countertops. You've got the gas range. Yeah, very nice. The backsplash is absolutely beautiful and very a nice job of not, you know, sometimes they'll try and overdo it on the backsplash, but this is very, very tasteful. It is, and it's very functional kitchen. It's got a very large kitchen island. I just love their use of space and, and like you said, the colors and tones and textures, everything's great. Yeah. And this is, these houses are really designed for the professional, the, you know, busy, they want to be close to everything, but they don't really want to get bogged down with all the, the yard work and all that kind of stuff, but they still want a luxury property. And they, they did a really good job on this. Headed upstairs, we're going to look at this. I mean, the master bedroom is just absolutely huge. Yeah. So you can see this is a California King bed with ample space around the the room has nine foot ceilings and a seating area it's it's very large open and bright and with really nice window treatment so you can you can shut out the light when and if you want to yeah but lots of light lots of natural light which is nice because even on a snowy day like this it's a little overcast but you're seeing a lot of natural light inside the house and and headed in the bath beautiful yeah, nice big open master bath with a separate tub shower. And the shower has the upgraded Euro glass, which is a really nice feature. And the master closet is absolutely enormous. Yeah, very, very nice. And you can tell that they really designed, they did a good job of putting a luxury property in a luxury location that really is going to fit a certain type of buyer. And, and that's just the way it should. Yeah. And every bedroom in this home has its own in-suite private bath and it's a full bath. So three bedroom, three full baths, and then there's a half bath on the main floor. Yeah. Just the way they should. And so each of those baths are all taken care of and looking at the lower level here, it's still, it's got the two car garage, right? Yeah, two car garage. And like you said, it's a, it's suited for today's buyer who really want, is more about lifestyle and less about housework and yard work. So Ashley, if somebody wanted more information about this, how would they reach out to you? So you can find me on my website at realtybyashley.com or contact me directly on my cell 801-706-2929. Long before I was an actor, I was an Army Ranger for the United States Army. So the VA loan is near and dear to my heart. It's a complex loan and a difficult process. And so I've partnered up with Real Estate Essentials and we started a program called the VA Home Alliance. It will include a zero down payment loan, a free inspection, a free appraisal, and for a thank you for your service, they will pay your first house payment. Not only does this make the process easy, but it also offers a lot of benefits. So if you have any more questions, please check out the website. So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. Okay, Sheldon, for this one, we are headed up to the beautiful city of Bountiful. And one thing, one of the nice things about Bountiful, of course, they've got those big mountains and some great views up there. And this is a majestic property. It's got that a gate, you know, gated community as you, uh, as you drive in and you're right up on the edge overlooking the whole city here. Yeah, it's gorgeous property. Really a beautiful one. Take a look at those views as you're flying wow. over the top of the property. I mean, think about it. You're getting into gated community and a bountiful, which is really close to Salt Lake. And it's one of the best values in the whole market, really, if you think about it. Because if you go south, you know, you're, you're of course, in Salt Lake and then you're going to Holiday and all that kind of stuff. If you go just a little bit north, right around the corner here, up in a bountiful, you get to these properties. And these are these are really good values. Yeah, and it's not that far away if you're working in Salt Lake. The commutes, you know, close. It, it's really where, and so when we're looking at this property, we're only looking at about $129 per square foot. Wow. And gated community, 
up on the side of the mountain with yes, that beautiful yeah. view and as you're looking the inside they didn't spare any expenses like they say hey, listen we're not going to put a lot of money into this house they put a lot of money into this house this is a this is a specially designed it was a custom build and it was built right around the lot and take a look at the size of the kitchen yeah it's so nice yeah, a beautiful property, masters on the main floor, and it's got lots of bedrooms. It's five bedrooms, and it's got five baths. It even has a place where you can add in a um, an elevator in the future. Wow, it's amazing. It was really nice. Yeah, thought through. In $129 a square foot to get something with a view gated community, I'm telling you, this is, and look at the views off the back here. This is right off the kitchen as you step outside and your own little deck. It's amazing. This, I, this is a special little property. Um, I, I really like it. We're, we're seeing a lot of growth in the area and there, there are, believe it or not, I think, I think Bountiful up on that hill right there is one of the best values in the whole state. And I talk about that all the time. You'll hear me say that because this, um, I mean, if you go the other direction, I mean, you can't buy anything at $129 a square yeah, foot. I agree. You really can't. You can't get luxury property like this. As you can see, I mean, everything's really nice. Look at the master, yeah, the master bath. Yeah. yeah. And it's right on the main floor, which is nice. It's got three car garage. There really isn't anything lacking on this house. You know, oftentimes I look at houses and say, why, you know, why, what's going on? What is it going to sell? Is it not going to sell? This is, it's a dynamite property and it's a really good deal. The only thing I think somebody might come in and maybe change some paint colors or something, but that's simple. Easy. Yeah, really simple, really easy. And these are nice, soft colors, an easy palette to entertain with, you know, and, and to enjoy. Look at even, they've got some really nice windows off the mm -hmm. back to look up into the, the mountains there. And right off the front, even upstairs, they continued those views so you can look out over the whole valley. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, this is considered the second level. It's got a couple bedrooms up there. It's got two bedrooms up. Of course, that full bath. And look, the colors and style, I think, I, I really like this property. Yeah, there's not much you'd have to change if anything. Yeah, it, it's really nice. It's a, it's a really good use of space. That three car garage, and it's a big three car garage going down to the which would be considered the lower level. But take a look at this. The interesting thing about this, even though we would consider this what would they consider a basement level or something, but look at the windows. Yeah, they, go they right still have views. Way. Yeah. And so they've redone this uh, this area right here into a nice home theater. Even the lower, which would begin to through the basement, still got views looking over the mountains. So you really don't have a basement. And you don't see this a lot where you get three-story homes, but this is basically like a three-story home. Yeah, and the basement was very inviting and light. I mean, perfect place to entertain. Yeah, they did a really nice remodel as they did on the main, on, uh, you know, just kind of dressed up the colors a little bit with that kind of wood, kind of fancy. And look at the backyard, isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, that's great. And that's really private. I like that. Look at the way they did all, they did a ton of landscaping in here. They've got a waterfall off the back, very inviting. Look at this. Yeah. So you can hear that running water. This is a special property. I, I Look at this, how darling this is. This one, as you can tell, the rock work, they did a ton of landscaping. You got views, gated community, a really awesome situation to step in, get some instant equity. There you go. Uh, bountiful, great area. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. We have an incredible custom home for you this week, Jay. And this is actually in Dameron Valley. And this is a very modern, contemporary custom home with a Zen garden. It looks so nice. Looks like you're out right in the wilderness, which is just quite beautiful. Oh yeah, I mean, this this is one of the most unique lots in Dameron Valley. It's on an acre. This home is brand new, and every single angle and oversized window was placed to enhance and and take in the views of Pine Valley and nature, the rock pools. It has it all. Yeah, very nice, very clean lines. I like it quite a bit very clean lines, very modern, but it doesn't have the cold contemporary feel. It is contemporary, but still has that warm effect to it and upgraded throughout, as you can see. Yeah, and the windows are amazing. And the kitchen, look at this, this is great. Oh yeah, very open floor plan. And again, those windows are all placed to take in the views and to be closer to nature. You can see Pine Valley through the window here and everything was thought of beforehand and you'll not find another home like this. Yeah, very neat. So let's talk about how many square feet and bedrooms and baths, what are we looking at? So this home is 2,300 square feet. It's all on one level. And again, just under an acre. And it's a three bed, two and a half bath and a really big oversized two and a half car garage. Yeah, 
very nice and look, it, boy everywhere you look you can see, you can see that sun coming in it's really a beautiful property oh it is you'll never find another home like this upgraded over the top unique as can be so tell me about where where is this uh, for the person that doesn't know st george where is this layout in the you know st george area okay so this is less than a half an hour outside of st george but still very close to being you know wherever you need to be mm -hmm. and very easy access to it it's all paved the whole way but it's very quiet very private as you can see here you really can't see much of the neighbors so it's a very unique property, close to town, but very quiet. Yeah, so if you wanna be kind of away from it a little bit, and I mean, just that scenery alone is just absolutely beautiful. Exactly. Yeah, so I guess for that person that wants to be away from it just a little bit, but have something modern, and all those windows are just perfect because you're looking out on all these beautiful trees and kind of that beautiful area. So Chase, if somebody want more information on this, how would they reach out to you? You can call us at 435-674-6011 or email us at aimsteam at sgremax.com. Now, Sheldon, I know you guys do things a little differently and education's yep. a big part of loans, right? Absolutely. The best thing we love to do is educate people from the start. You know, a lot of times people they're, they're renting and they think I'm going to save up for the next year mm -hmm. and I'm going to get ahead by doing this every month. But we look at the market, especially right now, you've seen the reports for what's coming next year. Yeah. And a lot of people can't save up faster than what houses are appreciating. It's getting away from them. Exactly. So we want to get with them, talk about products, talk about the market and real estate and really educate them so they know, should I wait or should I not wait to buy? Yeah. And we'll talk about their finances and what it takes. Could be a no money down. It could be with money down. Lots of different options. Tons it all depends options. on uh, on their situation. That's, exactly. And that's where the education comes Exactly. In. So we have 200 loan products. We'll teach them about different ones and let them decide what they want to do. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Awesome. Hey, Jay. Yeah, this great new listing we've got, it's a, a Cape Cod. Uh, it's right over there by the uh, the Salt Lake Country Club, uh, over off 24th South and 23rd East. And as you see, it's a, a be beautiful Cape Cod style here. Yeah, very. This is uh, the Country Club. That's one of the best country clubs around. And this area is super desirable. You're right there in uh, Sugar House. And as you can see, this is a beautiful property and uh, it just looks great. Yeah, it's, uh, so it was designed and built by the, the owner. He's an architect, uh, well-renowned architect, Will Conley. Uh, as you go inside, you can see the home was actually built in a pod style. And what was done there is it basically gives the maximum amount of windows and access to all the outdoor living spaces. Yeah, and you can really see that all that light is just coming in. And it's just, a. I mean, this is a standout and a masterpiece, really. Yeah, uh, big double island, uh, commercial oven, commercial uh, refrigerator. It's got a butler's pantry and a huge, large, oversized pantry. Uh, great for any entertaining space. Uh, again, you can see all this light and bright open uh, windows. It's just, it's just stunning. Yeah, very nice, uh, spectacular. I just love all those views of those windows and everything we're looking at. Yeah, uh, you can see all the coffered ceilings leading into the master here, the vaults again, all of it designed to, to incorporate and be able to pull in as many windows and, and really feature the architecture. Yeah, it's really unique. I've been back to Boston and seen these properties. They are just, just absolutely be beautiful out on the Cape there. And this looks just like it where you see all this light coming in and just really, they've, you can see all the craftsmanship in this property and what they put into this. This isn't something that somebody just put together. There was a lot of thought put into this. Yeah, it's got its own little uh, master wing here for the makeup counter and large walk-ins closet. Here we are in the uh, the office. Lots of bookshelves, built-ins, yeah. all that all around. Yeah, really nice. And you can see you can walk right onto your deck, and you've got your hot tub right there, and all those big mature trees. Yeah, and going upstairs, uh, this is where a lot of the living space is. There's a large uh, craft room slash sewing room with all the built-ins and counter space, and, and uh, ensuite bathroom right there. 
It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, really nice use of it. You can tell all the quality craftsmanship that they used in this and the really nice colors. Very unique. You don't see this every day, that's for sure. No, uh, as you see, the colors they've chosen, it, it kind of fits right in with the style. It's like it was dropped right here, you know, from the Hamptons. Is, you know, all the, all the blues and the greens and the purples, it's just, it's all been de by design. Yeah, and that if you look at that paint, if you go to the paint store and you look at regular paint, if you go and buy the real premium, premium stuff, it costs about three to four times as much money, but you'll get colors that look like that. And it's a very reflective, but it's a real balanced reflective. It doesn't just show where, where light hits and it actually disperses it out and it's really unique. And you can see that's what they used here. Absolutely, and heading down to the, the lower quarters, big family room with a billiard space. It's got a wine cellar. Uh, you'll see it'll actually lead in. Uh, it's got kind of a maid's quarters or a, or you know mother-in-law little apartment that's off to the side. Um, exit out to the exit out and its own exit here. You can obviously have its own kitchen and and great living space. Yeah, very nice. It's so nice to have that extra access. It looks like we're down the hall and there's more bedrooms here. Yeah, uh, plenty of bedrooms and storage. We've actually got you know again another bank of. of a bunch of book storage, uh, bookshelves, and then a real nice workout room. Uh, they've uh, they've incorporated the the through the hallway there more windows, obviously to come off the the outdoor lighting, so it doesn't feel like a hallway. Yeah, really nice work. And so this is a big house, isn't it? Yeah, it's about eighty four hundred square feet. Uh, yeah. and it doesn't doesn't feel like that in any part of it. So it's it's very warm, very comfortable. Uh, it's just really well thought out again, the way that they did all these different pod spaces. Yeah, now we're in the backyard. Job. Yeah, this backyard is just amazing. And this is where it kind of brings in, where you can bring that outside, inside, and all those big mature trees. And of course, this area up there in, in Sugar House is so super desirable. Yeah, you can see all those Sugar House big mature trees. Again, every one of the spaces has its own kind of architectural feature, window, access into the space, and you know, and here's your hot tub. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a spectacular home, very unique, a really super desirable relate, uh, location, and it's right on that really nice golf course. Very, very nice. So Jay, here we are in Old Town Park City. As you can see, there's Main Street right there. Yeah. Talk about looking over Main Street and seeing everything that's going on. This is the spot. It is, and we're on the sunny side of Old Town, so we get the sun all day. And literally, I don't know if you're familiar with Java Cow, which is the ice cream shop right on Main Street. It literally took me two and a half minutes to walk from Java Cow to this home right up Shorty's stairs. Yeah. So when you talk about location, you talk about Park City, and then you're right there, right on Main Street. It doesn't get any better than that. And on the it sunny doesn't. side. Yeah, yeah, exactly, is... on the sunny side. And then you've got these fantastic views of all of Old Town and Park City Mountain Resort. So you can see the resorts, you're on the sunny side, two and a half minute walk to Main Street. Uh, this place, it's phenomenal location, great part of Old Town, and it's an amazing home. Wow, so it's got view, it even has an elevator in there. It does. So this home's got a heated driveway, two car garage, and so that is truly important in Old Town because parking is always a challenge. So you could have friends over, you could walk to dinner and then walk home. So parking is no issue. You don't have the hassle of a plow or shoveling snow because you have the heated driveway. You walk into the home, you've got that elevator that we discussed. And this house is built in 2007, but it's a primary residence. So it's never been rented, but you can rent it. A future owner could definitely rent it and do probably very well. Um, so it's meticulously well cared for. As you can see, as we go through the home, it is a beautiful home and a very well-built home and very well cared for. Wow, so it is, so it's kind of an old town area, but this is a new home in old town. It is, they actually tore down the home that was in this place. This was built in 2007. Uh, we have an office on the top floor and we have five bedrooms we have a dining room, kitchen, and a great room. So it's a great entertaining home, multiple levels, so you can separate the family, so everyone doesn't have to be right on top of each other. Yeah, and 
their talk about maybe bringing the Olympics back to uh, uh, to Utah, that means that Park City is going to be on fire again. Exactly. I mean, they did a phenomenal job in 2002. I'm, I don't see why they wouldn't bring it back. As we're here in the kitchen, you can tell the quality of construction. You've got the Copper Island, the very high-end appliances, the granite countertops. Uh, it's a very well-built home. And yes, we are definitely looking forward to getting the Olympics again because I'm sure it'll happen. Well, if that happens, that means your property value is going to go through the roof again because that's what happened with Park City. It put it on the map and it exploded and it'll do it again. So then we're talking about property values going up. And of course, you get a beautiful property in this location. And oh my gosh, and then you just sit back and wait for the Olympics. Yeah, I can't wait. It, yeah. I, I think it's definitely going to happen, but who knows, right? Um, and then, so as we come down, we have the great room. We've got the wine fridge. There's three fireplaces in this home. You've got a hot tub on the deck. Here we are on the deck, one of two, and these amazing views. And you can see that we've got plenty of snow for early in the season, so we're excited for this season to get going. Yeah, in lots of bedrooms, lots of snow, great location. Yeah, I can see why this is, this is a really, this is a cool property. This is not one we see all the time. These are kind of rare, aren't they? They are. They are definitely rare. And, and to see it in, like I said before, the quality of construction and how well it's cared for, this home looks like it's maybe two years old. It's a beautiful home. It's a great location. You, you can't get enough of, you know, there are the stairs right there actually that I was talking about earlier. You just walk down those stairs. There's an entrance on the side of the house and the front of the house. You literally walk down these stairs and you're at Java Cal in like two minutes. So location is just phenomenal. Yeah, you can never go wrong with location. You can never go wrong with Park City and lots of upside come in that direction. So this is a special property, I love it. It is, absolutely.